हेलो फ्रेंड्स व्हाट्सअप थैंक यू सो मच वॉचिंग सर्किट्स बाजार सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द मॉड्यूल व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन वॉइस रिकॉर्डिंग फील्ड द आईसी व्हिच वी आर यूजिंग ऑन दिस मॉड्यूल इज ए पी आर थर्टी थ्री ए थ्री सो दिस इज वेरी कॉमन आई सी व्हिच कैन रिकॉर्ड मैसेज ऑफ अप टू इलेवन मिनट्स राइट द ए पी आर थर्टी थ्री ए सीरीज इज स्पेशली डिजाइन फॉर की ट्रिगर यूजर कैन रिकॉर्ड एंड प्ले बैक टू मैसेज एवरेजली फोर वन टू फोर और एट वॉइस मैसेजेज बाई स्विच It is also suitable in simple interface or need to limit the length of a single message, right? So if I talk about uh, the feature of uh, this IC, then there are lots of features uh, in this IC. The first feature is uh, it can operate at low voltage. Even you can uh, operate this IC at uh, 3 volt as well, and maximum up to 6.5 volt you can provide. And uh, if I talk about on this module, we have used a DC adapter as well. This DC adapter will get 12 volt, and uh, built-in uh, 7805 is given on this IC, which can convert this. Uh, 11 uh, this 12 volt into uh, 5 volt you can apply uh, even 15 volt adapter over here as well you can apply even 9 volt adapter right and the uh, another feature of this IC is no external IC required to store the message because already a prom is given in this IC which can record uh, whatever the message you will feed uh, in this IC right another feature of this IC is that a programming and development system is not required means if you want to play some messages then there is no need of some programming device like 8051 pkv or arduino arm you can directly record and play the message and uh, uh, the message length is also very high up to 6 uh, 680 seconds it can record it means up to 11 minutes you can record your message in this ic and no battery backup is required for example if you store the message in this ic and then there is a power failure right uh, the message won't be deleted whenever you will provide again power supply then you can retry with the same message again by pressing those switch on which you have uh, stored this message right simple and direct user interface there is no complexity using this module so now i am going to explain uh, one by one uh, the components on this ic as i already told you this is uh, dc adapter through which you can provide dc power supply like 9 volt 15 volt 12 volt and if you don't have that adapter but if you have 5 volt like you can provide 5 volt from arduino as well so in that case you can use this connector this is uh, written over here ground and 5 volt so you can take 5 volt and ground directly from the arduino and provide to this connector and uh, this is the switch over here uh, you have to select like for example if you are taking power supply from the adapter like 12 volt then you have to keep your uh, switch in this direction but if you are taking power supply like 5 volt then you have to keep your uh, this switch in this direction right and uh, uh, this is another switch uh, which is used uh, to record and play function if you wanna play then you have to keep your this uh, button in this direction and if you wanna uh, record then you have to play you have to keep your this button in this direction right and speaker is written on the two points so i have attached a speaker as well so this is the speaker which i am going to use uh, in this project and this is the microphone this microphone will get uh, sound signal and will feed this sound signal to the ic so that this ic can record that signal okay and these are the pin these are the eight pins so up to eight messages you can record and the maximum length of message combined will be 11 minutes means you can record 11 11 minute message on these two pins or in one pins or in four pin or up to eight pins but the maximum Uh, voice length you have is of 11 minute right and uh, uh, these are the pins as i already told you you can interface this module to the microcontroller using uh, these uh, pins these are the eight pins okay and these are the button for example you don't need any microcontroller but you want you want to play uh, some sounds by uh, directly so you can use these buttons as well right and this button you can uh, use uh, for the uh, uh, feeding the sound to the module as well right so if uh, for example right now it is on play mode if i uh, keep this button in this direction then i can record now so if i uh, press this button right this micro switch then uh, the voice will record it on this position m1 and if i uh, press this button in this direction then whenever you will press this button then the sound which you have recorded already will be played because that's recorded sound is stored in this ic so now i am going to perform the experiment so uh, right now i have arduino board as well to provide the 5 volt power supply but i have a dc adapter as well so this is the dc adapter
So now we are going to provide the power supply to the module. So this is the DC jack through which I can provide power supply. So this is the sound whenever you will provide power supply to the module. Uh, you can provide power supply as I, I already told you through this jack as well. So over here you have to provide 5 volt and ground. Now uh, I am gonna record a sound. So to record a sound you have to keep this uh, uh, a sliding switch in this direction right now i can record any message for example i want to record message on m1 location now i need so if i'll press this one right then there will be a sound and uh, then you start speaking whatever the message you want to record and then whenever you will leave this icon uh, this uh, uh, micro switch then there will be double sound it means your sound is recorded now i am record i'm gonna record the sound so i'll press this micro switch Hello, tomorrow I want to go to New Delhi, then I will uh, take flight for the Mumbai. So now this message is recorded. So if you will uh, slide this uh, button in this direction, then you can play. So if you will press this button, then the message will be played on the speaker. So this is the speaker. Hello, tomorrow I want to go to New Delhi, then I will uh, take flight for the Mumbai. Hello, tomorrow I want to go to New Delhi, okay. then I will uh, take flight for the Mumbai. So this is the message which I have recorded on M1 location. If you want to record message on M6 location, then uh, slide this uh, button in this direction, then you can record at any location. For example, this time I'm gonna record message on the M8 location, right? Uh, so I'll press this button, then there will be a single beep. After that, I have to speak by message which I want to record. So for example, this time I want to record a song. Uh, right, so I'll play song in my mobile. Okay, so I'll press this one and then I'll play the song. Oh. So I have to press uh, properly. So now I'm gonna leave this uh, micro switch, then there will be a double sound. It means your sound is already stored. Okay, now uh, if you wanna play this sound which you have recorded recently, then you have to uh, keep the sliding switch in this direction. Now I'm gonna play this sound. Okay, this is the sound which I have recorded recently. This is the speaker which is producing this sound. I have attached the speaker to these two points. Okay, so this was the sound which you have stored in. There are lots of type of module available in the market regarding this IC. Uh, okay, so you can buy any module. Uh, you can buy module from Sunroom Technology as well. There is a different type of shape and different type of little bit function as well uh, on that module. Over here, uh, there is no need to select, uh, select uh, like you are gonna uh, uh, record one message, two message, four message or eight message, right? You can record any number of message, but if I talk about in other modules uh, like lots of companies producing like sunroom technology is also producing such type of module over there you have to provide a jumper uh, like you have to tell the ic you want to record two message you want to record four message or you want to record eight message but over here in this module there is no need to tell the ic we are gonna uh, use like this uh, ic for two message or four message automatically it will detect whenever you will record the message automatically it will detect how much message uh, how much messages uh, you are going to use right um, now, if you want to record complete long message, then you can record even a single long message as well of 13 minutes. But in that case, you want to be able to record uh, other messages because all the memory is or all the storage is consumed by this single long message, right? If you want to record for example 10 minute message, then you can record that 10 minute message on uh, this location M1 and then one minute uh, message on M2, then you don't have any space 
you can't record any further message because all of the 11 mint audio storage memory you have already consumed so you are not left with any other option so you have to leave uh, the use of all these buttons because you don't have any storage in that case uh, so this is very uh, simple okay so this is all about uh, uh, this 8 channel module I see if you have any doubt or if you have any query regarding this module then you can uh, put your question in the comment box thank you very much for watching circuits bazaar if you like the video then please subscribe thank you